In the 6th century BC, on the island of Crete, there was a philosopher poet shrouded in legend known as Epimenides. He made a curious statement in his poetry, all Cretans are liars. This assertion leads to a logical conundrum. If all Cretans lie and Epimenides is Cretan, then his statement must be a lie, suggesting not all Cretans are liars. This riddle has intrigued philosophers for centuries and is known as the liar paradox. The liar paradox is a self-referential puzzle that occurs when a statement contradicts itself. Consider the phrase, this statement is false. It's a tricky one because if we say it's true, then the sentence must be false, since it claims to be false. But if we say it's false, then it must be true because it says it's false. The liar paradox creates a loop where the statement refers to itself in a way that makes it impossible to determine a consistent truth value. It demonstrates that self-referential statements can lead to logical contradictions and inconsistencies. Alfred Tarski, a prominent logician and philosopher, addressed the liar paradox in his work on the concept of truth and the formalization of semantic concepts. Tarski's insights were crucial in understanding and resolving some of the issues raised by self-referential statements like the liar paradox. To avoid the liar paradox, Tarski introduced a distinction between object language, the language in which statements are made, and meta-language, the language in which we talk about statements in the object language. According to Tarski, we need to avoid self-reference by ensuring that statements about truth are made in a meta-language rather than the object language itself. Tarski's solution involves creating a hierarchy of languages, where each level can talk about the truth of statements in the level below, but not about its own statements. This hierarchy prevents the formation of self-referential paradoxes. For example, the object language might include statements like snow is white, and the meta-language can include statements like snow is white is true, but the meta-language itself cannot contain statements about its own truth. Gödel used a similar kind of self-reference in his incompleteness theorems. Gödel's first incompleteness theorem states that in any sufficiently complex formal system, like arithmetic, there are statements that are true but cannot be proven within that system. It's like having a mathematical version of the liar paradox, a statement that says, this statement cannot be proven. If the system could prove this statement, it would be inconsistent because the statement would be both provable and unprovable. If the system cannot prove the statement, then the system is incomplete because there's a true statement it can't prove. The second incompleteness theorem extends this idea and shows that a system cannot prove its own consistency. It's akin to the liar paradox in that any attempt to use the system to prove its own consistency would lead to a similar kind of contradiction. In essence, Gödel's theorems show that just as the liar paradox reveals a fundamental problem with self-reference in language, there are also fundamental limits to what can be achieved with self-reference in formal mathematical systems. These theorems highlight a profound relationship between the concept of truth in mathematics and the philosophical implications of self-referential statements.